Hey, what's up everybody? This is JD. I'm here in the detail studio at North American Motor Car. We have this beautiful 2011 Rolls Royce Ghost that's gonna be in for a full detail. Part of the process of getting your car detailed requires what we call a decontamination wash. In that, what we do is we use different type of chemicals. One would be an iron remover or another type of process that we call a clay bar treatment. What we're doing with this step would be to try to pull any of the particles that are inside the little peaks and valleys of the clear coat of the car. It has a chemical reaction with the metal or let's say the rust particles that are on your paint. So it'll go from being a clear liquid to a purple liquid. Usually we try to do this outside of the sunlight because you do not want this to dry onto your paint. And you just got to cover everything. The next process that we're going to do is rinse off all that iron remover that's on the car. As you can see, the big change in what it looks like on the wheels themselves, you can see the purpleness. After that, we go into foaming the car with a foam cannon, so that way we can pull off as much dirt without having to do any mechanical labor to the paint. last step before we rinse it and we dry it is to clay bar the paint. And by claying the paint, what that means is we're gonna take a piece of clay, we're gonna pass it along all the surfaces of the car. What this does is it removes any little particle of dirt, dust, metal, whatever is stuck in the peaks and valleys of your clear coat. So your clear coat isn't a smooth surface. It has a bunch of little divots and dents in it where dirt gets trapped inside and locked inside. What this does, reaches in there, grabs them, and pulls it out as I pass through it. Now the process of doing this is very simple. We're gonna take the clay, we're gonna make sure that we go in one direction, we're gonna keep flipping it as we go. Now one of the most important steps to this is to make sure that this stays lubricated and you're not passing it on a dry piece of panel because otherwise you're not really pulling the dirt off. Instead, you're gonna be dragging it across the paint and you're gonna create more scratches in your paint. So now that the car is prepped, clean, and decontaminated, we've taped off all the edges that we don't wanna get our polish on. So one important thing that we do before we get into the process of correcting this car's paint is that we measure the thickness of the paint. The reason we do that is because we wanna learn how much material we have to work with. Now, I have a special tool that I use to measure the paint, and we measure in a couple different spots. So we're gonna start off with the thinnest area first. And that's going to always be on the insides of the door jams. So now I'm going to work my way to the outside and I'm going to measure the door. Although this car looks really good from a distance, when you get up close to it, you start to see all the imperfections that are in the clear coat. 
there's a bunch of marring marks and scratches that are in the clear coat. And the reason why we do paint corrections is to get rid of this. So our goal is to get rid of 80% of all the defects that are in your paint. So when it comes to correcting your paint, you're actually correcting the clear coat, not the actual color coat that's underneath the clear. And some people get that confused. So all we're doing is really smoothing out the glossy side of the paint. Part of the detailing process on the interior is to get rid of any of the oils, the dirt, and the grime that's on our skins from an everyday basis. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to use a little bit of all-purpose cleaner to kind of break away that grease that we have naturally on our bodies. And I'm going to agitate it a little bit with a special type of bristle. Right there, all that dirtiness that's coming from underneath that piece of leather right there. So steam is like nature's number one dirt and oil remover. And the best part about this is that it heats the leather up to a point where anything that's trapped inside the pores of the leather will come out as I use it. You know you've done a good job with the cleaning when you leave a piece of leather with a matte finish. If you have a shiny finish to leather, that means there's still a lot of oil trapped inside the leather and it's not fully clean. Mm -hmm. 